Is this on the screen or is this on the wall? It's on the screen. Okay, cool. Would it surprise you to learn that some guitars might not be vegan? So you see all these really pretty greenish blue inlays on this guitar? These are called abalone. And abalone comes from abalone. Which is a snail. Yeah. All of these inlays were once growing on the insides of snail shells. So... Yeah, this guitar is not vegan. Or is it? Because abalone is a really expensive material, and these Charvel Desolations, while they might look expensive, are not expensive. So that leads me to believe that this is probably not real abalone, and it's probably just plastic something made to look like it. But how would you be able to test the difference? So I looked around online and supposedly with needles, which you cannot see because they are needles. There we go. I have needles in my hands. You'll just have to believe me. They're needles. They're very small and thin. And I'm far away from the camera. It, it's, it's not a good camera. There we go. I, they're needles, like sewing needles. Moving on, supposedly needles cannot pierce through like actual snail shell materials, but it can pierce through plastic. So I'm gonna stab the inlays and see if it leaves a tiny little hole. I'm gonna test to see if this is true with some little seashells that I have. So I got a seashell. This looks like it's from some kind of a different snail. I don't have any abalone shells. Oop. It's not going in, so. Okay, other needle. I mean, they're both the same, I just have two of them. And there's another shell. No holes! So, I mean, I guess it's true that a needle does not pierce mollusk shells. So that's kind of cool. Here's another one. Here's a cool little piece. Yep, that, that doesn't go through. Now, we get the guitar. And we just... Uh, is it sticking? Uh... I mean, I'm not able to push it in. Like, it's not scratching it. I honestly expected that it would make a little hole, but it doesn't seem to be. I honestly expected that it would just stick in and that I could, I would just have the pin sticking out of the guitar, but it's not. It's not going in. That's, that, that's cool. Then it could be real abalone. So I guess... The guitar is not vegan. That's interesting. Now there is a flaw to this plan. And there is only one flaw to this plan. It's that I don't know if my testing method here is a valid testing method. Maybe needles wouldn't actually pierce whatever this material is. It just kind of goes off of the assumption that the snail shells are harder than whatever plastic they would substitute for the inlays. Uh, but I don't know what that plastic would be. So... Mm -hmm. It's a test, I guess. Food for thought. I don't care if that's vegan food for thought or not. I'm not vegan. Apparently, neither is this guitar. Maybe. Kind of funny if it's not, though. Imagine working at a guitar center and someone's like, Excuse me, is this guitar vegan? And then you just have to sit there and go, What? Huh? And then they start talking about snails. Bet you didn't know you'd have to know something about marine biology in order to sell guitars now, did you? Did you? Did you? Do you? Do you? Do you? The didgeridoo is a wind instrument played with vibrating lips to produce a continuous drone while using a special breathing technique called circular breathing. Okay, fun fact, I fell into a rabbit hole for this random joke and apparently didgeridoos are not vegan because traditionally they rely on termites to hollow out the trees that they use for these wooden tubes. Okay, back to the video. I wonder if each of these is from a different snail. Cause that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven snails. Was it worth it, Charvel? Yeah, this guitar is cool. I like this one. Give them all names. Yeah, I, I need some names for all the eleven snails who sacrificed their lives for my guitar. Apparently, I, I don't have any ideas. I call this one Requiem for a Snail.
It's very slow. It's not over yet. A moment of silence for all of my 11 dead snails. This is the name of my new band, 11 Dead Snails. PETA's gonna cancel me now. They're coming after you too, Charvel. Better watch out. But I have a couple more of these I can test. Cause this red one is actually a prototype. So maybe the prototype had real abalone, but this one, which was actually a production model, maybe it doesn't? Oh, wait, uh, actually this one, I got to stick in. Oh, uh, there actually is a little scratch on this one now. Okay, that's interesting. This one, red one, I couldn't scratch. This one, I could. Hmm, I guess for the prototype, they did use different materials. That's weird. Yeah, if you look real closely, there is a hole where I poked it with the needle right there. I guess this guitar, is vegan, not real abalone, according to this testing method, which uh, may or may not actually be a valid testing method. And really, if you look at them, they do look a little bit different. The red one's a little greener and the black one's a little bluer and shinier. So if the red one is real stuff, I guess that makes sense. Again, this testing method is just me stabbing things with needles. Which I don't even know if that's like a good way to do it. I just saw it on Reddit, I think. I don't even remember if it was Reddit. Anyway, your guitars might be vegan. They might not be. I don't have anything else I could test. Like Gibson guitars, I think, have some abalone or mother of pearl stuff in the headstocks. And mother of pearl also comes from snails. But I don't have any Gibsons like that that I can test, so... <sighs> test them yourself, I guess. I'm not responsible for any damage that you sustain to your guitars by stabbing them with needles. That is your responsibility, man. If you want to poke your guitars with needles, that is your decision. Good luck, I guess.